Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. that you Latinos, first and foremost, let's address that word. Every time I talk to a Latino and I ask them what does Latino mean, they don't know. It means slave of Rome. That's right. Latino means slave of Rome. Bring it up. Think about it. There's so much hatred between Latinos and blacks, blacks on black, Latinos on black, that we don't know who we are, nor do we care. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Because a lot of times, you pray for the men to come out and teach you. But we're here. That's right. And when we get here, y'all don't want to listen. Right. Where's the Latino brothers at that want to save their community? Bring it out. Read this. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the children of God. Do not get it confused. That's why you're in the ghetto. You might have a couple stores. You might own a business, but you still pay your taxes to the man that enslaved you. That's right. Read that again. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So the Most High has a controversy with us. He's mad at us right now. Why is blacks, let's do a correlation. Tell me who this happens to the most. They kill themselves. They whore out their women. They sell drugs to their mothers. They populate the penitentiary. Who is that? You blacks and Latinos. Why can't we get it together? We don't understand that the Bible was written for you, to you, and by you. That's right. But we say we're Christians. We say we're Catholics. Bring it out. Not knowing that that's the slave master's religion to keep you down. Read that again from the top. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Give me truth. There's no truth in the land. I know in our communities we like to say keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it 100. Yo, keep it real. Well, we're gonna keep it right. We're gonna keep it real with this word right here. We gotta find out what the truth is. This is the book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen, verse one forty two. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The law of the ghetto and the law of the barrio is not the truth. The truth is the law of God. That's right. The only way that we get out of our conditions is by following the law of the Most High. And guess what's written? Not in your Catholicism, not in your Christianity. It's written in the Bible. Read that again. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Mi hermano, mi hermano, what is the truth? The truth is the Bible, not the laws that we go by in the streets. Like we say, yo, we go by code, no snitching. But I bet if your daughter got shot by somebody, you would snitch. Why don't you snitch on all the white people that's snatching your babies down at the border? Why is it that your kids is being snatched and nobody else is speaking up about it but us? Why are blacks and Latinos babies being kidnapped at an alarming rate? And no one says nothing about it! Why? Sis, sis, I see you looking. Why don't nobody care about our babies? Why don't nobody care about the Latino babies? Our babies are the ones that are dying in the street by the hands of our cells and by the enemy. Young man, come here for a second. He wasn't? Was Jesus white? He wasn't white. Come here, let's show. What? Whenever someone says something, you know what you should say? Prove it. Right. So do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. So if it's in the Bible, that's the authority, right? Anything that comes out of the Bible should be the truth, correct? 
Because we say we believe in the Bible. That's what they taught you in Catholicism. That's what they taught us in Christianity. Give me um, Revelations 1 and 3. Because the key thing is, what is this young man doing? He's reading the Bible. Don't read your religion. You can't. Because you know what they do when you go to church? They say one or two verses. They get you to spend your money. And then you forgot about the truth. Watch this. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. So right now we're going to read about Christ. Don't go nowhere. Mi hermano. Don't go nowhere. Let's look. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. If I ask any child, whether black, whether white, whether Latino, what Christ looked like, what would they say he looked like? But, but I know I, that's good, you know. But what would most kids say? Let's see if your family would say. If we asked anybody what color Christ was, what would they say? He's white. Why would they say that? Because the white man who enslaved John first, then enslaved the second, told you Christ was white. Give me Revelations 1, jump down. So, 12. Because the key thing is, whatever Christ is, as it is stated in the Bible, is what we got to believe. Because I will tell you this, if you look in your genealogy, three, four grandmothers ago, I bet you she was dark skinned. But guess what? You got the same blood running through you that the Israelites, or better yet, that Christ. Watch this. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So this is Christ. This is John on the island of Patmos. He's describing Christ. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And girded about the path with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. Does this man right here have woolly hair? Or does this man have woolly hair? The dictionary says woolly hair is like a sheep. Who has truly or not be here? This man or this man? Strike one against him. Because this is what they taught the Latinos Christ looked like. So therefore, if you think this is Christ, who do you automatically think this is? The devil. So that's why there's a natural hatred between Latinos and blacks. Because most Latinos identify as Christ being white. Your foremothers were dark skinned. They look like this. Watch this. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were a flame of fire. Get down in Genesis. Because he drank wine. What color do our eyes turn when we sip on wine? They turn red. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. So this was a future prophecy about Christ. What Christ would look like. Go back to, um, so we know that his eyes would be what? Red with wine. Right. Start from the top again. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. And his head and his hair were white like wool. Who has woolly hair? Blacks and Latinos. If you go back to the forefathers or foremothers of the Latino, they had hair just like me. The same hair that this man got. Right. But now some of us got hair like this. And this is what we identify with. Because this is what Christopher Cologne taught you. This is what Christ looked like, but Christ is a black man. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine, it was a prophecy that his eyes would be red with wine. He got a question. Oh, no, 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 I got no question. You sure? What was his question? He got a question. No, no. His head and his feet like a defined brass as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice at the sounds of many waters. So guess what? If you take white rice and you burn it in the furnace, what color does it come out? Very dark. It said that Christ was already brown in color, like you Latinos, y'all are brown in color. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. 
Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.